Scorpio. What's popping? What's up, water babies? What's happening? What's going on in life for Scorpio between the 1st and the 15th of November? Hmm? Hmm? I know y'all like mocha, the intensity shit. Just getting to tomorrow, bitch. I, I'm trying to figure. Look here. I understand. If no one understands you, this Aries here understands you. This Venus retrograde in your sign, be it scarred, be your season. And uh, uh, <clears throat> we, finna, uh, we finna switch it up. Happy birthday to you. Scorpio, it's your birthday, so do you, and if they're hating, tell them, screw you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Scorpio, turn up, 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 for a chick, y'all know y'all like this money, anywho, y'all better make the best of your birthday season. Take the lessons, for they bring in the receptivity and the acceptance for the blessings, and learn from it. And keep it get to keep it pushing. It's evolution, baby. Okay? Why cry when you could just win? Duh. The fuck. All right. So this would be for my Sun Moon Rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Scorpio from the first to the fifteenth of November. Okay. This is not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found below in the description i currently have a 15 dollars off special going on for my 30 through my 60 minute sessions okay this is take two on y'all video venus retrograde and scorpio ain't agreeing with me either it just shut the hell off so i don't know what the hell going on but we're gonna keep pushing all right um intuitively you guys um my meditation has been working different even with um my spiritual abilities and honing them um, when I meditate, I've been finding that I better start journaling in the midst of it because it takes me somewhere else. And I find myself writing, this is what the hell y'all did. This is what y'all did to me. Scorpio by themselves. So I had to write these things down to make sure that I didn't miss anything. And it's crazy because the energy that I feel now is lit. Same thing, you know. So we're going to get into it. Scorpio, what I got was fear. Karma, lack, fairness, allowing, soul contracts, abundance, manipulation, fear of change, illusions, mental abuse, forgiveness, love, releasing, vengeful, rebirth, loneliness, deception, heavy hearted. I heard Jezebel. I don't know, did somebody call somebody a damn Jezebel? How old are you? Anyway perspectives holding on wisdom blockage abandon loyalty karmic partner past life prideful shocked unveiling okay so i do know with this uh full moon in taurus the, the veil is extremely thin and with that you're really seeing motherfuckers for who they is, you know, during this time. It is what it is, you know, on a surface sense. But spirit is wanting you not to take these surface situations. For some of you all, it's, it's about soul growth. For all of us, it's about soul growth. Okay, so your soul came here, signed a soul contract to experience, okay, these emotions in order for you to actually hurdle them and evolve, you know, e evolve beyond those 3D emotions, you know. To make that shift y'all are fixed energy so it doesn't y'all don't really like change like abrupt change so a lot of these during this time you may experience ab, you may be experiencing abrupt changes and it's really surfacing things within you that you're really needing to deal with on an internal level okay so it's not about the situation in itself hold on y'all i heard my damn phone go off okay um but as you heard that train i feel like these changes are coming in fast and again unexpectedly okay so let me cut my phone off so we're not distracted, <clears throat> but let's get it. All right, so with this full moon being in Taurus, it's going to affect your seventh house, okay? So what that is, is, is having to do with, because uh, the full moon came in in Taurus, I believe today, the 24th, it came in on the 24th, and the energy is good for, for, the, for the next six months. So your focus may be currently around your family, if you're in love or if you're currently separating with someone. I feel like someone's going to come in fast, but it's going to take you to release, you know, 
those emotions. You, Spirit is not allowing you to take your baggage with you, period, period, point blank, okay? I feel like you could got, you guys could expect, like, unexpected money during this time. So if you've been actually dreaming about, because some of you all are dreaming about um, gambling, lottery tickets, things of that nature, follow, trust your intuition and feel your way through. Trust yourself and what you feel, okay? Because a lot of you have lost the essence of trusting yourself. And then you find that you live these experiences, okay? you live these experiences and on the surface level, when your intuition nudged you towards something and you didn't trust it, you find that in the end you lost. But it's crazy because you was well, even though you thought you was wrong because you doubted yourself, you were right all along. So when you feel that you know the answer already or you know the outcome, y'all trust that. Don't be trying to shift things or manipulate the situation to go how you want it to go because in most cases when we do that as a whole, we lose because we're taken from ourselves and we're limiting what it is that the universe, God's spirit is bringing into our lives or trying to show us or give us in order for us to make a free will choice to walk away to receive something better, you know? And so I know uh, with the with the seventh house, it's more so about like reassessing who the fuck in your life is an asset, who the fuck is a liability. Folks got to go, bro. Folks got to go, sis. And it's not up to you to feel bad for your soul's evolution to feel bad for wanting to elevate high when other motherfuckers want to stay down here. You can't make a person want to do nothing as much as you want to take them people with you, baby. You got somewhere to be. It's about evolving and actually growing and learning the life lessons in order to move on them hoes to move, you know? I feel like there, if you are in a current relationship and things are turbulent, it's about shifting your perspective to see things differently during this time. Because this Taurus full moon is going to bring some more, it's, it's, it's like more of the Taurus energy, which is about materializing, okay? And so if you are so also dealing with the Taurus, this person could also have to share the same focus during this time to want to like materialize actually and move in more so in a practical way as far as growth. So the arguments may become conversations but conversations in order more so with the solid goal of reaching a solution not to be right or wrong it's it's not about that it's about seeing it from a different perspective letting the emotions go okay this energy is going to bring that energy of fuck it i'm trying to catch flights not feeling so what, what 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 are we talking about okay so let's get it all right spirit needs um all right hold on I'll read you your angel message your message first comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle card deck. You know, y'all know I'm a crystal healer, okay? So I actually work and deal with energies, you know, dealing with crystals, working with crystals. And I don't know what this scorpion, this this Taurian, Taurian full moon is really, it didn't come to play with me either because it's purging every slight, every slight piece of, any work that I need to do, and for one for a long time, it was doubting myself, and so it's crazy because to actually like feel the intensity of this lunar energy as well as to feel the intensity of this retrograde is is crazy, y'all. I'm just really learning to truly trust my inner goddess. All right. So the message that you guys and I and I and I shared that to to to, to really kind to express fear ain't real, y'all, and it's up for it's up to us to escape that paradigm, okay, that programming that we've been taught, right? So the first stone, um, first stone, first message is moonstone, heightened intuition, be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy told you you already be knowing but you be telling yourself no i ain't know but you knew that shit though you're already highly intuitive and this card shows that your intuition is being taken to new levels be aware of your divine downloads which encompass strong feelings clear realizations a sense of knowing visions dreams and signs keep your mind clear and sober that so so that you'll notice your intuition in addition to noticing, trust the feelings and knowingness about the meaning of the message. The ego wants to second guess your insights, but don't ignore or override your first impressions. This isn't a time for logic. It will all make sense soon. 
This card can also signify that you're extra sensitive to lunar phases, especially the full moon. So this could be y'all energy because I'm not going to lie to you. I was just fine beforehand, but that could be that doubt. Like I'm like a sponge right now. My empathic abilities are being taken to a whole new level, y'all. Stop doubting yourself, okay? This card can also signify that you're extra sensitive to lunar phases, especially the full moon. You may wish to plan accordingly, such as easing your schedule during full moons. In addition, this may be a sign related to feminine moon cycles. Taurus is a feminine energy. Yes. So it's going to affect you guys in a major way. This full moon is going to bring your life balance. It's going to allow you to actually unmask the emotions. Spirit is leading you guys on an internal level to unmask your emotions and truly deal with those internal issues, y'all, that you're carrying. For, for some of y'all, from relationship to relationship to relationship. And for some of you all, it has something to do with the mother figure. It stems from a mother figure. And I feel like you have to really, really, really be willing to look deep. And have those conversations. Express yourself. Your authentic self. Unmask. Allow yourself to feel. To truly feel in order to feel your way out of it. But feeling, healing, and dealing at the same damn time. Some of you all could be during this time <sighs> learning more so about the esoteric world. Okay, some of you all could be kind of going back to your religions and kind of some of you all are finding balance finding an imbalance on like what you were taught re religiously and the information that you're actually learning yourself and i feel like it's it's, it's kind of making you live in a little it, it, for some of you all in a place of fear but for some of you all you're finding your balance okay from turbulent times by doing this some of you are some of you all you have a like an infinite soulmate coming and this person coming fast in the midst of like turbulence Ooh, some of you all are going to receive a, a massive download it's going to be wild in nature this could be about eight days into november and what november the 8th is it could be eight days from you watching this video but i feel like something about eight days or the eighth day in November, but it's destined, it's infinite, it has to do with the soul contract for some of you all with the past life partner, karmic partner in love, and it also, it could also have to do with an obstacle and why you feel these emotions and you can understand more, you're going to be learning more through this download about your karmic, like, it's like what you signed, what you signed up to come, what you signed up to come here for. Your obstacle, your hurdle that you have to hurdle over. Okay? My words is fucked up. I don't know what's going on with my words. Some of you all during this time, your third eye is wide open. Some of y'all already know what you have to do. Some of you all, spirit is needing to pull you into solitude, but you have that fear of rejection and you have that fear of abandonment. Some of y'all are literally afraid to be by yourself. So I feel like because you carry that fear of being afraid to be by yourself, you take that into relationships and they become obsessive and you feel like, damn, you left me when I was hanging or maybe this is someone in your energy. But I feel like spirit is wanting you to see that and how you are not, y'all is hurtful, but you can't allow someone to grow. You, you can't expect someone to grow because you're growing. And anything that is going to be of turbulence or not for your soul's best interest or that's going to allow you to stay behind the comfortableness of being behind this damn mask, spirit says no more. Take that mask off and see what it is that you're needing to see in order to truly purge and heal. This full moon didn't come to play play. Okay? Some of you all, as it pertains to love, you're not wanting to see why there's a certain particular person that you just, I feel like it's, it's like you you feel tied to someone. I feel like you used to you're used to being nurtured by a particular person. This person could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person could be the mother or the father of your children. This person could be your mother. Some of you all have abandonment issues, but I feel like it roots from your mother. Some of you all you're going through the midst of a transformation during this time. So this is why you have to purge. 
Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarian. Some of you all have a or have an infinite partner that is an Aquarian. This could be a twin flame union for some of you all. But I feel like it's not getting off the ground due to the fact that you have this fear. Some of y'all are really living in a place of fear. And spirit is trying to purge that. During this time, you're going to have a hell of a transformation because spirit is going to show you how to nurture yourself. Some of you all are truly, truly coming into tune and you're able, you're going to be able to see the shadow side of yourself as well as others during this time. The veil is extremely thin. Yeah, some of you all, this has to do with the Sagittarian, okay? I feel like some of you all could be cutting this person off. I feel like you have nurtured this person and nurtured this person and nurtured this person and in return you have gotten nothing, especially not the fulfillment that you wanted. Some of you all could have a towel moment around this during this time and I feel like it has to do with someone's deceptive behavior. Some of you all, this is the time that all truths will be revealed. Some of you all intuitively know that you're going to have to leave somebody behind in order to be happy. And for some of y'all, I feel the need to tell you that you really need to be more selfish with the time. You carry all these damn burdens because you make a free will choice too. Tom, Dick, Sally, and Larry problems is not your damn problem unless you make it your problem. And actually stop what the hell you're doing towards your own damn growth and your peace to make it your problem. And for some of you, it's about harmony. Some of you guys want to move forward, okay? You want to complete a karmic cycle with the past life partner in order for you to move forward and be happy. This person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could also be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself, or this person um, could also be Air. Everybody's here, Scorpio. Everybody came to dance, okay? Some of you all... Yeah, you're wanting this fulfillment. I feel like you're wanting to move forward. You're wanting love. You're wanting happiness. You're wanting the whole damn nine. You're trying to manifest abundance. However, you're living in the face of fear and holding on to obsessive things from the past that once what that once was. I feel like some of you all could have actually like kind of kept your feelings close to your chest, okay? And in keeping your feelings close to your damn chest, you missed the you missed you missed the boat, Scorpio. Or this could be someone in your energy. They're now seeing that they missed the boat. This could be a Leo for some of you all. But I feel like during this time, you're going to be courageous. You are another person. They're going to want to move forward, come forward and move past the toxic times. For some of you all, it's a Pisces or a Sagittarian. I feel like there's a conversation that's needed to be had. Boundaries are needing to be set, not just for yourself, but the other person as well. Because for some of y'all, this person could have mother issues themselves. Some of you all, there is this deception. Something, something is coming. This full moon is going to bring in a sword like no other. And people's shit that we've been trying to cover up and turn into sugar, okay, is going to melt right before our eyes. I, 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 I bullshit you not. And Scorpio, if this is you, I, baby, the purge is coming. For some of you, this is involving an Aries, okay, with this Emperor card. I feel like the love that you have with this person, I feel like the universe, for some of you all, are divinely guiding. You're getting a redo during this time, Scorpio, to fix it. And are you going to deal with it with pride, okay, or are you going to do that in work and be authentic? Because I feel like this has to do with authenticity, a whole lot of fear, and someone scared to be vulnerable in order to move forward. And that comes from inner work, and you're needing to take that mask off to see. You keep running into the same person with a different face because it's something in you. There's a lesson within yourself and your own soul growth that you're not getting, baby. And spirit is needing you to see it, courageously see it. Take the mask off, see it, face, look that shit in the face, and say it with your motherfucking chest, I got this. And push it through, push, push down that wall. So that you can move forward and complete that cycle and stop having to hold on to the burdens of woulda, coulda, shouldas and blaming other people. Or get this, whoever this is in your energy, set those boundaries. It's time to pull the sword out and get to speaking your damn truth. I'm not happy. I have to go. I got to bounce. God is not the author of confusion. God is not going to keep me in limbo, period, because I have somewhere to be. Some of y'all have massive financial blessings trying to rain upon you from God and the universe. However, you have this lack mindset. Oh, I don't have this. You can only see what you don't have. Start thanking spirit for everything that you do have. Truly believing. Once you see it in the mind, you will being water, you're an imaginative. Once you see it, truly seeing it, I'm sorry, truly believing it, actually sets the intention in order for you to fucking see it. Once you see it, you move forward afterwards. And I don't unapologetically, whether they like it or not, babes. 
And it's up to you to live in that truth and not worry about who looking, who got something to say. Some of y'all are sitting on spiritual abilities and the you know, you're not speaking and the universe needs you to speak. They need you to speak, baby. It is your essence. The way that you feel your way through things. The way that you see things. Okay? Some of you all are moving forward to go have that conversation and you come in fast like lightning. Some of you all may be seeing a lot of birds during this time. Some of you all may be seeing a lot of cardinals. I'm seeing owls, a whole lot of owls. Some of you all may be seeing hawks and eagles. Some of you all may randomly see um, geese. Some of you all may see um, like pelican-like birds. And I feel like you're going to see these birds in a random ass, in random ass places, especially now it's cold. You're going to be like, what the hell are you doing out here? But that's your messenger. And they're coming to bring you the message of expansion, newness, redos, reconciliations. For some of you, information about third-party situations, because keep in mind, they are the overseers and they bring wisdom. They see all. It's how you see it. Yet again, <laughs> they are the overseers, and they come to see wisdom. They come to they come to bring you wisdom, but it's not for you to hold on to it. It's it's for you to get to the bottom and do that research of why the fuck do I keep attracting this person? Because usually, baby, I hate to say it, but I'm just the messenger, and I just work here. We are what we attract. So you got to find that vibration within the self and stop being so allowing to people to come into your life and be energy fucking vampires. Be selfish with your energy. That's your fucking energy. And be very responsible with your thoughts because they're manifesting at a fast rate. If you think lack, so shall it be. A turnaround is trying to happen, baby. A turnaround is trying to happen for you. Abundance is trying to rain in. For some of you, the earth sign want to come in and help you, but you got to start. You got to know when to put the damn ego and the pride down because you can't buy nothing with it. Spirit don't give a fuck about that. And will beat it down until you humble yourself. I love y'all family. I just want to see you win. But you got to take the mask off and be real with yourself. For some of you all, there's a huge focus on your throat chakra. And your thoughts during this time. Take your thoughts out that dark place because your mind is more expansive than that. Your thoughts are powerful. So be very careful what you choose to give them power. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna think negatively, take yourself, find, catch that moment, and deal with that. Then, man, why the hell did I just think about that person? Well, what, what is it about? What, 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 what about that person's actions remind me of someone else who hurt me? Maybe I didn't really heal from that. It's time to heal, baby. Rest and recovery. Cause spirit trying to allow you to recover every motherfucking thing that belongs to you. Every motherfucking thing that belongs to you. What it is that you want, your desire, your spirit knows. But the conflict, the confusion, the discord within, what the hell did this person really want? Some of you is love, genuine love, loyal love, supportive love, compassionate love, nurturing love. But you got to lead by example during this time. People got to be willing to see you get into yourself. You are what you attract. Think lack, so be it. I'm rich. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I'm joy. I'm grateful. I'm abundance. I'm love. I'm light. I am wealthy. I am abundant. Speak it in your life as I just spoke it in your life. I want to see you win, family. This is what I have for you between the 1st and the 15th of November. If you need that person, please hit me up. Y'all comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know how it resonates. I love y'all very, very, very much. Much love, much light, many blessings, much, much, much abundance. And... A huge healing vibration from me using the water, the earth, the air, the fire, and the ethers to send to my babies, my water babies. We're going to get through this. I love y'all babies. Namaste. Bye y'all.